probability questions when uh, working with a sampling distribution you want to look for four items when you're reading for probability questions. The word problem has to provide you with the mean of the population. It has to provide you with the standard deviation of the population. So we have to be given mu and we have to be given sigma. We're also be going to be given the size of the sample uh, which represents basically how big X bar, um, um, how big the sample is for that sampling distribution. That's going to be denoted by N and the sample mean or sample means, because we may be working with two sample means in a problem, that's X bar. So we have to be provided with these four things to answer a question regarding probability and sampling distributions. The question is going to be phrased so that you're asked to find the probability that a sample mean is greater than, less than, or between two values. This is important in blue here, highlighted. It's important that you read the problem and you recognize that it's asking you for a sample mean. Um, because there, then you know that you're basing your question on the sampling distribution. Let's look at an example. The number of text messages Americans send per month is normally distributed with a mean of 30 and a population standard deviation of 8 messages. Find the probability that a person sends more than 40 texts per month. So the question is, does this question involve the sampling distribution of means? So are we going to use the methods demonstrated in Chapter 8? So do we have those four values? Do we have mu, sigma, n, and x bar? Well, the answer here is no, because we're using a population here. We're provided with a population, but we're not provided with a sample size. And without the sample size, we don't have a sampling distribution. This question can be answered but it's going to be answered based on the material we did in Chapter 7, not on a sampling distribution. So here's how we would answer it. The horizontal axis is labeled with the variable number of text messages. And in the center, we're going to label the mean of the population and the standard deviation of the population. The variable number of text messages is what's represented on the horizontal axis. So here we have few text messages and here we have many text messages. But it's not based on a sample mean. So let's suppose that we're looking at 40 text messages per month as our problem states. If the mean is 30, the mean of the population is 30, and the mean of the sample is 40, well then the point at which we're looking at the bell curve has to be on the right side of center. So we're looking for the area that goes from 40 to positive infinity with a mean of 30 and a standard deviation of 8. So we're looking for this proportion of area under the bell curve right here. And if we put, we are going to get okay, normal CDF oops let me just fix something. Have to get my stat wizards on. Okay, try it again. Normal CDF. The lower limit here is 40. The upper limit is 100,000. The mean is 30 and the standard deviation is 8. It's not based on a sampling distribution, so this represents, this 8 represents the standard deviation of the population, not the standard error. Paste it. We have 0 .1056. 0 .1056, or 10.56%. So the problem did not provide us with the sample size, therefore the problem is not based on a sampling distribution. Let's look at another example. 
The number of text messages Americans send per month is normally distributed with a mean of 30 and a population standard deviation of 8 messages. Same problem as before. But this time, find the probability that in a sample of 100 Americans, the mean number of texts sent is more than 32 texts per month. So here's why this question is different. This question is also asking for probability, but you are being provided with a sample size and you are being asked that the sample mean, find the probability that the sample mean is more than 32. In a sample of 100, the mean, so that's the, that represents the mean for this sample of 100. You're being asked for the probability that the sample mean is more than 32. And whenever you're asked for the probability that a sample mean is more than or greater than or between two values, you are going to be using the sampling distribution to answer your question. So this question, yes, does involve sampling distribution of means. So let's answer it now. We have to know what the mean of all sample means is or the mean of the sampling distribution. And that's easy because it's always the same as the mean of the population and it's 30. We also have to figure out what the standard error is because when we go to our calculator to use normal CDF, we cannot use it if we do not know the standard error. So we plug in sigma divided by the square root of n. So sigma is 8, n is 100, so plugging in 8 and 100, we have 8 divided by the square root of 100 or 0 0.8. 8 divided by 10 is 0 0.8. So our mean is 30, our standard error is 0.8. So we're going to go to our calculator. Uh, before we do that, I'll come out, I'll, I'll demonstrate with visual. We have the bell curve. The sampling distribution is based on the bell curve. The horizontal axis represents sample means for text messages sent per month. Okay, so this is why this problem is different from the last one. The horizontal axis here represents sample means. The horizontal axis in the last problem represented the number of text messages. This is the sample mean for text messages. In the center we have the mean of our sampling distribution and the standard error of our sampling distribution. 32 is a sample mean, if we reread the words of the word problem, it was asking us for a sample mean that was greater than 32. So that's why it's represented with x bar here. So we shade everything from 32 to positive infinity, and then on our calculator, that's pretty much how we're going to solve this question. We're going to find the area under the bell curve from 32 to positive infinity. So using our, bell, using our normal CDF function on our calculator, normal CDF, <clears throat> we're going to go from 32 to positive infinity. The mean is 30. Standard deviation this time is represented by the standard error, which is 0.8. And that becomes <coughs> 0.0062. Point zero zero six two, and that's the answer to our probability question. So that is how we answer questions uh, on probability based on the sampling distribution. It's different than the work we did in chapter 7, so make sure that you understand what the word problem is asking of you. And um, if you have any questions, you can post them in the discussion forums or send me an email. See you at the next lecture.